Hey everybody, welcome back to the Wolf Pit with another episode of What Are We Eating? Frozen fish sticks, popcorn shrimp, butterfly shrimp, and tempura shrimp from the regular grocery store from time to time aren't that bad for a quick weeknight dinner in a pinch. Especially if you're a kid. I remember absolutely loving fish sticks when I was a kid. And I could never have enough ketchup on my plate. I think I was trying to make the fish swim again. And we always had them with Kraft macaroni and cheese. Or, for a slightly better but much greasier food that's cooked and hot ready for you, you can go out to a Long John Silver's or Captain D's. I always refer to Long John Silver's and Captain D's as royalty food because five minutes after eating it, I was on my throne. It would go through me faster than Matt Stoney goes through hot dogs at Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest. Woofa! But did you know there's another option for cheap seafood besides the regular grocery store frozen seafood and fast food seafood? That's right, the Dollar Tree Seafood House. As I was once again wandering through my own personal adult playground the other day, I found myself lured back to the frozen food section. And I found a good selection of fried type seafoods. Like these Fisher Boy fish sticks, these Ocean Wave breaded butterfly shrimp, Ocean Wave popcorn shrimp, and these Bon Vivant Kitchen's shrimp tempura. Everything was obviously only a dollar each, so that's a seafood platter for only four dollars. If it's any good, that's a bargain. But that's a big if. The Fisher Boy fish sticks are the only one out of the four that are a product of the USA. That's sad, very sad, with all the wonderful and delicious seafood we have all around us. These contain a mince of five different fish, pollock, whiting, haddock, cod, and sole. Then you have different flours and proteins for fillers and various seasonings. What I find oddly funny is they have to put a disclaimer at the bottom of the ingredients on a box of fish sticks that they contain fish. Really? I know why they do this, because some dummy who's allergic to fish would buy these, eat them, get sick, and sue. So they do this to cover themselves, I get it. But this just shows how messed up the world is today. There's 12 fish sticks per box and 6 sticks per serving, which sounds like a reasonable serving for a change. Unless they come out looking like a box of pencils. Per 6 fish sticks, there's 210 calories, 9 grams of fat, 1.5 grams of saturated fat, no trans fat, 10 milligrams of cholesterol, 540 milligrams of sodium, 24 carbohydrates, 2 grams of fiber, 2 grams of sugars, and 8 grams of protein. I was surprised when I opened up the box that they weren't in a bag. But it's been so long since I've had fish sticks, I don't know if they come in a bag or not. Is there a bag in the box? Let me know. There's two ways you can heat these, conventional oven or toaster oven. I happen to have gotten a toaster oven for my birthday, so I'm going to use that. It says to preheat to 450 degrees, then bake for 10 to 13 minutes, or until golden brown. So into the oven they go. The Ocean Wave popcorn shrimp come in a three ounce box and are a product of Vietnam of all places. I've seen seafood from Thailand, China, Philippines, and Argentina, but never from good morning Vietnam. And these shrimp are also wild caught, which is also surprising as a lot of the shrimp from China that I've seen are farm raised and flavorless. So I was looking forward to trying these Vietnamese wild caught shrimp. What is also surprising is it looks like there's actually only shrimp in here and no other sort of miscellaneous seafood parts and along with just a little bit of breading. Pretty interesting. The serving size is the whole box and there's 200 calories, seven grams of total fat, one gram of saturated fat, no trans fat, 60 milligrams of cholesterol, 420 milligrams of sodium, 22 carbohydrates, less than one gram of fiber, one gram of sugars, and 11 grams of protein. You can bake these in an oven, toaster oven, deep fry, or pan fry. I'm gonna do these in the toaster oven too. It says to bake at 450 degrees for 10 to 12 minutes. So I'm going to spread these out on one side of the pan, and then I'm going to put the butterfly shrimp on the other side. If these are whole shrimp, they're very, very tiny. And there's a lot of breading on them, because there's no shrimp shape at all. You'd think the box of breaded butterfly shrimp would weigh more with them being bigger, right? Nope, they're still three ounces. But these are nothing more than pounded out shrimp, so they're not nearly as big as they look. These shrimp are also from Vietnam, but they're farm raised. Wild caught shrimp used for popcorn shrimp, and farm raised shrimp used for butterfly shrimp. Not really sure what the difference would be. Shrimp is still the main and only seafood ingredient though, and not a whole lot of other stuff. But what else could you really put in breaded shrimp? Again, the serving size is the whole three ounce box, which has 200 calories, eight grams of total fat, 1.5 grams of saturated fat, no trans fat, 60 milligrams of cholesterol, 640 milligrams of sodium, 22 carbohydrates, one gram of fiber, and 11 grams of protein. 
You can bake, deep fry, or pan fry these, and I'm gonna do these with the popcorn shrimp in the toaster oven for 10 to 12 minutes at 450 degrees. These look more like little goldfish than they do shrimp. So into the oven they go. The Bon Vivant Kitchen's Shrimp Tempura are an Asian-inspired, lightly breaded seafood treat that comes in a four ounce box that contains six pieces and is a product of Thailand. Bon Vivant says they search the world for foods that have great taste and bring them to you. Their wild caught seafood is prepared with time honored Asian recipe, breaded and fried to perfection. Simply heat and eat for an appetizer, snack or anytime. Now this is more on the lines of what I expect a seafood to be like from the Dollar Tree. A myriad of different seafoods combined into one. This is labeled as shrimp tempura, but they're shrimp, squid, and fish paste. And I can't help to think that these are made with the scraps that are unsellable and usually fed to the birds off trawlers out in the ocean. But there's really nothing wrong with shrimp, squid, or fish paste on their own, but these are supposed to be shrimp, not seafood smoothie tempura. There's three two-piece servings per box. Per serving, there's 208 calories, 16 grams of total fat, seven grams of saturated fat, no trans fat, 19 milligrams of cholesterol, 338 milligrams of sodium, 13 carbohydrates, no fiber, no sugars, and three grams of protein. The only recommended way of heating these is to bake either in the oven or toaster oven at 375 degrees for 12 to 15 minutes. These definitely look nothing like shrimp. They look like they were extruded out of a machine and turned into baby squidwards. Now into the toaster oven they go. After everything's cooked for its allotted time, here's our $4 seafood platter. Appearance-wise, the butterfly shrimp look kind of fishy. Pun intended. And a very special thank you to my lovely, beautiful wife who had these plates handmade for my birthday for me. If you'd like to have a custom plate like this made, I'll leave a link in the description box on how you can get them. I tried the fish sticks first and they were nice and crispy on the outside with a decent fish flavor on the inside, but not really a whole lot of fish. But they were real dense with a lot of fillers and pretty dry. I can definitely see kids eating these like there's no tomorrow and some adults, especially the drunk ones. A bag of these, a bottle of ketchup and tartar sauce would hit the spot late at night, especially after a few too many cocktails. And like I said, they had a decent fish flavor, but you can get the same flavor by licking an empty tuna can. But you get what you get for a dollar. Healthy, no. Edible and filling, somewhat. So let's be generous and give them a four out of 10. I've definitely had a whole lot worse. Next up was the Sea Wave Wild Caught Vietnamese Popcorn Shrimp. And just like almost all popcorn shrimp that I've ever had, it's more breading than shrimp. But popcorn shrimp are usually seasoned and they're seasoned well. These didn't have any seasoning or flavor at all. These had about as much flavor as a piece of paper would if you balled it up, threw it in your mouth and chewed it. It's not really a big deal that the breading didn't have any seasoning because we could always sprinkle some seasoning on it, but the shrimp themselves had absolutely no shrimp flavor to them at all. I peeled the breading off to check out the shrimp, and yes, it's a real shrimp. For some reason, I thought it would be some kind of ground concoction. By themselves, these popcorn shrimp are very underwhelming. Add some salt and pepper and you're getting somewhere. Add more seasoning and you might have a decent tasting snack for a dollar. Using wild caught and whole shrimp deserves one point each. Not adding a whole bunch of other crap deserves another point which is about as many points as I can come up with for these wild caught Vietnamese popcorn shrimp. The Oompa Loompa Orange Goldfish looking breaded butterfly shrimp were the greasiest out of everything which worried me and brought back flashbacks of the Long John Silvers and my throne. But I can't and I won't stop now because I do this for you, the people, so you don't have to. I thought these were gonna be nothing but breading, but they had a surprisingly meaty texture and a subtle shrimp flavor. But other than the shrimp flavor, they didn't have a lot of flavor at all. I tried really hard to peel the breading off to take a look at the shrimp, but it wasn't happening. The breading and the shrimp became one. It certainly felt like a whole shrimp when I bit into it, but the fact that I can't get the breading off of it kind of makes me wonder if it's not ground meat with the breading mixed in. These might be a half a point better than the popcorn shrimp at 3.5 out of 10. Now for the deep fried extruded seafood smoothie paste. From a distance, these kind of look like octopus tentacles, but up close, they look like mutated Rice Krispies. 
And after I took my first bite, I was willing to bet my left knuckle that they were indeed coated with Rice Krispies. And I liked them. No, I didn't. I loved them. Well, let's just pump the brakes there just a little bit. We're talking about Dollar Tree food here, so take what I'm saying for what it's worth. Seriously, people, these taste absolutely nothing at all like shrimp, but they're delicious. I'll describe them as a seafood flavored Rice crispy puff. They should just be called seafood puffs. They look and sound weird and taste nothing at all like a tempura shrimp, but they are delicious. Taste and texture wise, I can confidently give them a score of seven out of 10. If you'd like to help support the Wolf Pit, please consider being a patron. You can pledge as little as a dollar a month. That's only $12 for the whole year. Or you can pledge more. That's up to you. Either way, every little bit's appreciated and helps me produce more high quality videos more often for you, the people. Thank you all very much for watching. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe and I'll see you soon.